Zendesk is a CRM company. They've done a really good job in the marketplace. But what has happened over time is people deploy it, which is great. Uh, and then after a period of time, they determine that maybe it's not meeting all of their needs. And Service Cloud has always been a great solution for that. The ability to make sure that service and customer support is connected with the rest of the business. Really good insight into the customers, supporting multiple channels that are integrated together. The ability to easily transition from one channel to another, route work and prioritize things properly, giving them all the information they need to do their job well. The knowledge engine and the way that we're providing answers real time. What I warn people against doing is trying to recreate Zendesk in Salesforce. You want to make sure that you're taking advantage of the additional features. It's particularly hard with Zendesk, especially to get data out of the system and get the data out properly and migrate it over. It's something that we've gotten really, really good at. So what we're looking at here is the Service Cloud Console, that there are other statuses available for me, right? I can also sort of blend different channels together. We can set those thresholds to, to really meet your needs and then pass cases to those, those agents. I'm toggling over to the Experience Cloud site. I want to just reach out to support. Knowledge articles uh, are being searched for me as the customer. Use this site as a, as a tool to, to deflect, maybe engage with, with chat. And then the bot is offering up different popular topics for me to search across. The bot is able to understand my natural language. This particular design element is powered by the UX UI enhancer as I enter this, but I'm getting an audio cue in my headset. As the agent, I'm notified that I have a new request. I can see information about Sydney. That connected experience is already sort of providing a lot of information to the agent. So we're seeing the chat transcript, everything that the customer said to the bot, everything that the bot sent to the customer, any data that we have about Sydney in your Salesforce instance, we can now sort of serve that up to the agents. So we can pull in data from any of your third-party tools. All of these components on the left-hand side kind of shows the drag and drop functionalities. Moving to Salesforce is a step towards additional growth, additional channels, a more mature process. While it's gonna be easier, we're gonna expect more from our agents, more mature processes from the business as well over time. And that comes with some growing pains. It's so much more significant to be hit from a variety of your peers and your leaders and people within your organization about this new unified vision. Then we can really start to activate it through things like communications and getting people exposed to the system early and often. There's always a training element that's gonna be involved. The power of being able to build really sleek lightning web components and put them directly on your layout to view information from other systems that allow you to do your work real time, proactively give real time suggestions and real time updates to the field. We're in the future finally, where we've got this whole system that tracks all these different data points across all of our business units. And we can leverage that data with artificial intelligence here to really enable our our agents to be more effective, to be more streamlined. It makes us a lot more nimble and able to implement new processes, new suggestions, without having to go through all of the cumbersome retraining that I think we're pretty used to nowadays. Salesforce is great, easy to use, easy to build, but we can make sure that you're doing it the best way possible and that you don't have to redo it. Oftentimes, some projects that we work on, are, we're redoing a self-implementation. So um, we can make sure that, that the, the first time you do it is the only time that you do it. It's not to say it's not doable, but when you're talking about your existing in sales and marketing organizations that maybe you're on Salesforce and now you're introducing operations and service, it really helps to have a middle ground and a mediator for some of those conversations, because as you might imagine, priorities and, and what needs to be done in the system first versus later can vary depending on if you're talking to sales or service. And having that backbone of we've done this with these multiple business units many, many, many times, this is the pitfall that you want to avoid. It, it grants a level of foresight that you just don't have until you've been through the ringer a few times. We really, really appreciate all of your time. Uh, and as you're looking at this journey or any others, uh, we'd be happy to help. So with that, I'm going to close this off and uh, again say uh, thanks to everybody for your time.